Today, I want to share with you about the largest ant in the world. You guessed it right, we are talking about ant group. This is the largest, the largest, the largest IPO ever. And not only that, this IPO was oversubscribed by 872 times. This means if there is 872 people who want to buy this share, there is only one person who managed to get the IPO. This is how hot it is. Before you invest in N Group, here are five things you need to know. Number one, N Group actually consists of one big major super app called Alipay. And in this Alipay, there are few major functions, namely four. Number one, which is the original function, you can use it to make payment just like your touch and go e-wallet or your grab pay in Malaysia right number two you can use it to borrow money yes you can borrow money on the app it specializes on lending money to consumer like us or small and medium business the third thing you can do on their platform is you can buy investments there and lastly you can also buy insurance from alipay platform itself and the cool thing about alipay is they are actually using the data of your behavior while using their digital payment services to calculate your risk profile. And from there, they can price, hey, what is the interest rate? Whether this person is trustworthy, can we lend money to this person? And also, is this person a dangerous person? How much should we charge him to sell insurance to him? All this data that they collect, make them a more effective lender, a more effective insurer, and a more effective investment advisor for you. The second thing you need to know about N Group is, Digital payment is no longer their core business. If you look at their latest report, the latest six month revenue contribution segment, you will be surprised to see that their credit tech, which is the segment where they lend money to consumer and small business owner, is becoming their bigger segment now, which is the first segment, the first bigger segment. The second segment follow is only the digital payment. These two segments combined contribute to almost 70 to 80% of their revenue. The third thing you need to know is this company has been growing very fast, almost 40% every single year in terms of revenue growth and their profit margin has also expanded accordingly. At the IPO price of 80 Hong Kong dollar, and if you project the latest six month earnings to one year, the company is priced around 50 times the PE ratio. Does this make the company expensive? Not really. In my opinion, if this company can continue this kind of 40% revenue growth every year, provided the same or improving profit margin, it's actually quite a good buy at $80. And many people are expecting this share to shoot up to over 100 on the first day of IPO, which is on November 5. So far, we have been talking about this small end that is the largest in all segments, largest digital payment provider, largest online insurer, largest online investment platform, largest everything. You need to know the risk of this company. Many people will think, wow, since they are the online largest lender, online largest insurer, wow, with this COVID and bad economy, they will be badly impacted, right? The good news is, all this risk of lending people money, 98% of the loans that they lend out is actually then transferred to their traditional bank. So they don't carry most of the risk on their balance sheet, including insurance also. So you can think of Alipay sort of like the middle person, like the sales agent only. They are getting the sales for the loan to the companies and they manage the risk. These two people are holding the risk, Alipay only manage the risk. Same goes for insurance, same goes for credit lending, same goes for investment. Last thing you need to know, in my opinion, the biggest risk of investing in N Group would be the government's regulation. You think about it, China government wants to control everything because they are communist government and they want to feel secure with their position as the one that is controlling everything. Nothing wrong with that. But if N Group is becoming so big, the largest of everything, you're controlling people's insurance, people's investment, people's spending, you get all the data. If I am the China government, I will feel insecure about you being too powerful. And there has been some instance where the government has come in and put in some regulation to Alipay to comply with them. So would there be more regulation in the future? And how would those 
regulation and new rule impact and group? That is a question that nobody knows. So keep that in mind. Don't just focus on the growth, but also focus on the potential risk, which is the China government risk. So after my sharing, what do you think about N Group? Do you think it's a good investment? Let me know your thoughts at the comment below. I will look and reply to every comment. My name is Ming Teck. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel to get notified when I produce new videos in the future.